We just hosted the biggest event at our card shop all year long. And in today's video, I'll show you guys exactly what we picked up. Nobody runs trade nights. I do run trade nights. This is Trevor Lawrence. How are we doing? Let's go! Yes, sir! I mean, try to bring that to the next generation and bring it to other people uh, to hopefully inspire them. This is not possible without you. All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Glock 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. Today, we are back once again with trade night pickups, but not just any trade night. This time, I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up, uh, both in shop and for myself personally at Hobby Rip Night, one of, if not the biggest event at the shop all year long. Uh, this event has become really special not just in our shop, but across the country, across the world. Tops does a really good job of marketing this event uh, where you can go to your card shop and participate in a hobby rip night, trade night type event. A lot of shops across the world were involved in these, uh, and it was really cool to be a part of it once again. Shout out to Stephanie for uh, for coming out. She really, uh, she really took it to the next level with us this year. Hopefully, we can have her back. Uh, for future ones, but I do want to show you guys some of the stuff we picked up. Most of this is actually from our shop team uh, who bought quite a bit in shop. Uh, I bought some things at the table outside uh, and then walking around, but not nearly as much as they did. So a lot of this you guys have not probably seen, but if you have not, check out the vlog down below, show you guys what Hobby Rip Night was uh, with Denzel Burke signing, Stephanie there, a bunch of giveaways, and so much more. But Without further ado, let me show you guys what we picked up. In no particular order, bunch of random stuff. Again, that's the thing about these rip nights, these trade nights, is there's collectors from all over, uh, you know, with different collecting backgrounds. So sometimes it's cheap slabs, some stuff, it, sometimes it's higher end, and then everything in the middle. So a uh, little bit of everything, but that's what uh, that's what makes it fun. All right, a Randy Moss and RJ Barrett right off the rip. Definitely a, uh, a very unique start right there. This guy, this guy is different for sure. CJ Stroud, excited to uh, continue to watch him play, but man, he uh, he looked good on Sunday. Play action for Stroud. He's going to take a deep shot down the field. Nico Collins is there. He goes up and he's got it. Kyle Hamilton, rookie auto to 18. DPJ auto, Emerson contenders, JOK contenders. Uh, Jerry Judy, patch 10, couple Browns guys there. Uh, Jameer Gibbs, 9, Stroud, 10. Uh, ben and Tenny. I'm not a big baseball guy, but I remember when this card would have been uh, worth quite a bit more than it was now. Man, we've uh, I feel like we've gotten like every grading company ever, ever created in some of our videos. I'm not sure if I've ever had a 3D grading with, I think Flawless is the grade. That's interesting. I'm not a... Uh, I've not seen that one. 3D grading. Interesting. We got PSA. We got CG, what, CSG. We got SGC. I think there's a Beckett slab in there. Now I got 3D. We got a... And... Was there something? To, nope. PSA. Looks like we, uh, we might be in store for every grading company in this video. Russell Wilson stained glass. Uh, Jamar Chase red ice. And J.K. Dobbins. My guy. Uh, cheap slab, but... My guy's uh, been looking pretty good. Dobbins trying to get to the edge. He's got a blocker. He's got more than a blocker. Inside the 25-20. Did the sprints help? Oh! All right, Olave 8-8. Normally we're looking for 10-10, but here we got an 8-8. Uh, Joe Burrow 9, Joe Burrow, McPherson, Ellie, Victor 10. I saw something the other day that said this is already like a pop, almost a 20,000. Kind of crazy that there's that many uh, already. D low, Buckeye, uh, Immaculate from like 15, 16. Uh, is that what the year it is? Yeah, 15. Stroud again, LBJ. I think this is the box set LeBron. There's an eight, Ivan Pace Auto, Jordan Lawler and Aaron Rodgers, 10. Nothing super crazy so far. Cool one for uh, our local customer here. Icky Woods, Impeccable. This is the Honors Buyback Auto, two of two. Will Howard Auto, Bijan Mosaic, um, what is this one called? Micro Mosaic. He looked good on Monday night. Couldn't believe they won. I couldn't believe the Eagles blew it. 
uh, Judkins, 9, T-Law, Ken Griffey Jr. jersey auto, one of those guys we always like to buy autos of, especially when they're not like thousand bucks. The Griffey auto from like one to two twenty-five, two fifty, always seems to move pretty well. Larry Bird, eighty-eight flare, and a Victor hoops. All right, moving on. Sosa tops, big baseball nine, Hendon Hooker ten, Sauce Gardner auto two ten, Jay Jets ten, and Jamar Chase nine. Probably. We've had a lot of like trade night pickups videos. I'm not sure we've had a more uh, diverse group than that batch right there, from grading companies to sets to years to players. That is a that is a very odd group so far. Razzle Dazzle has got a couple of those: Dak and Tyreek, Joe Burrow, Aaron Rodgers. So four Razzle Dazzles. If you got to keep one of those, which one of those would you keep? Burrow, Rodgers, Dak, Tyreek. If you had to keep one. Who would you keep out of that? Uh, Emeka, more Emeka, Marv. Guy had a big week, too. Levis, Kincaid, that's actually really nice. To five, Kincaid, Patch Auto. Uh, Joe Burrow, Patch Auto, eight, five, ten, to 49. All right, Kaminga, Auto, Lou Bob, nine, five. Marcus Smart, Green Arena Club. Again, expanding the, uh, the grading companies in this one. Bunch of cheap slabs here. Just cheap, cheap, cheap stuff. These are cheap, cheap, cheap. Nothing uh, nothing crazy there. But we move on. Amonra, Deontay Banks, Waddle Orange. Uh, some cheap jersey autos now. Lopez, Riley Green, Kincaid, Four Color, Soto, Home Field Advantage, Trout, Meadows, Jackson Smith and Jigba's brother right there, Cannon. And then Lewis Prince and Otto. Nothing crazy. All right. This guy is good. I know this. I know some of the stuff coming up here is my stuff, but I know uh, when I say my stuff, stuff I remember purchasing. Uh, Paul Skeens, O'Neill Cruz, not numbered. I thought it might be, but it's not. Uh, Burrow, My House, Schoonmaker, T. Higgins, Nice Trey Hendrickson auto. Doesn't get the love that the guys like Miles Garrett, uh, Parsons, Max Crosby, um, TJ Watt, the guys like that. Um, but this guy is uh, this guy's the real deal. Fields, Zion, Fields, 2-0 Justin Fields. 2-0 Justin Fields. Yamamoto, and old Shane Goldmere SSP. A lot of graded cards, it feels like, in, in this batch of pickups. Normally, I feel like it's more raw. It's definitely a lot of graded stuff this time. Paul Skeen's kind of crazy. This is like a $100 base card. Dominguez Auto, Jordan Auto, Sean Wade, Panini Rewards, uh, Jack Campbell Auto to 30, Denzel Ward, Puka, DTR, Skeen's, Chris Jones. It's purple from 2016 Optic. Uh, Jameer Gibbs to 25, Bijan Ricciato, and the Sam Laporta RPA to 199. All right. Otani, Megabox, uh, Denzel Burke, my guy in shop to sign. Shout out to him for coming through. Uh, Jameer Gibbs, a couple Strouds. JSN to five. Had a decent game the other day. I think he had like 12 catches. Good to see him, uh, him getting some reps there in Seattle. He's good. Just got to get in the ball. Uh, Dent Patch, Paris Johnson. I've always, if you've watched the channel before, we've ripped this. I've enjoyed collecting this set over the years. This is the Leaf All American. This isn't a product anymore. I think Leaf stopped making it. But it was uh, it was one one way to get these guys before they got into college. Now you've got college cards now, so NIL. So this is a lot easier. But back in the day, this is the stuff that you had to get to get the guys before they got into college. Cooper Cup. And Joe Namath downtowns just can't go wrong buying two downtowns, really no matter who they are. Um, I say that with some exception because there's definitely guys that sell for uh, more than they, sh they should. But Super Bowl downtowns, Cup and Namath, we'll take it. Mahomes, well, Zebra, Palmero to four uh, on the Arena Club slab as well. Now, I did think this was cool. Leaf Electrum. Jalen Milrow, Nick Saban, dual auto. Saban doesn't have a lot of stuff. Numbered to eight. He's only signed in a few things ever. Thought that was a really cool card. It's a good looking card. So 
Shout out to Lee for uh, the Knicks save and auto. Malik Benson, AR patch, AJ Brown tie dye. I mean, those patches are filthy. Filthy, filthy. Roberto Aguayo. I thought this dude was going to be like the best kicker ever. He was drafted really, really high. Yeah, second round in 2016. Second round for a kicker. I thought it was high, but I didn't know it was that high. Highest drafted kicker since Mike Nugent. Go Bucks. He lived up to the lofty billing against Chicago in Week 10 by converting both of his field goal attempts and drilling four extra points. Odd random stat. All right, then we've got a, uh, what is this, like a Jake Fraley, some kind of SP, nothing on the front there. And then Bill Elliott auto to 49. Again, the diversity continues here. Uh, Will Howard, couple Jeremiah Smith's best, one of the best receivers in, in the country. Will Levis, Emeka, 25, 10 of 25. Matty Beniers, uh, LE 10. Uh, we bought this. I, we might have pulled this. This might have been the one we pulled in the break. Either way, not very good. Not uh, not ideal, for sure. All right, here's some more. This was a fun one. Didn't realize this was as big as it was. No, Tawny SP. Fellow card collector, Matt Strom to 299 I don't think I've told this story much, but John Hanna was one of the first guys I really collected. This would have been like early national days for me. So like I'm trying to think like 9, 10, 11. One of those years, it was in like Baltimore. And, uh, it was in Baltimore and then I think Atlantic City. But one year it was in Baltimore and I remember being at the Baltimore National and it was, it was walking around. This was the first Patriots player to get in the Hall of Fame. And I was, was looking for John Hanna cards. He didn't have a lot back then. He signs more now. And I was, like, trying to find stuff. And I remember asking a dealer. I was like, hey, do you have any John Hanna cards? Like, looking for some of those. And he's like, the guy that runs the zoo? And I know who that is. That's Jack Hanna. Because Jack Hanna helped build the Columbus Zoo into what it is. It's a massive, great zoo. Um, so I knew the name. But I was like, no, it's not the, the guy that runs the zoo. It's a Patriots alignment. Um, a guy my dad liked growing up. So... I thought that was a, a neat one. It's not licensed, but the old school Patriots jerseys are some of my favorites. Some of the best, I think, in sports. I love the old school Patriots jersey. So, fun, cool addition. Fielder, Mahomes, uh, Donald Duck, Kakawal, 10. LBJ on the light it up, like a blue pulsar. Uh, Keon Coleman to 10, OBJ. And then a Maserati Marv, 10. There was that outlier comp at 510, and then Marv went off for four for 137 and two touchdowns. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens on the next sale. I'm very intrigued by that card. Was that an outlier? Is it heading the right direction? I mean, that sale was after one catch for four yards. We'll see. I'm uh, I'm intrigued by that. I, I don't know where that card's going to land. Boasted a 75. My guy, Jack Sawyer. Zeke, uh, not one, but two Kobe game used. Uh, you got a Curry, Asia 9, Jackson Merrill Auto, Tyreek, uh, Patrick Mahomes, Halloween, Hurts on the Spellbound, CJ2K, Chris Johnson, uh, 08 SPX. This is a card I definitely owned as a kid. Uh, one of 199. Chris Johnson was a guy I was really, really big on uh, as, as a kid. Uh, Jackson, Smith & Jigba, again, two Jackson Autos, this time a 9510. Sorry, make that three JSN autos. That one's to 199. T-Law, Laporta, Stroud. Olave to 25. Love the OHIO spelled out. ETN, RPA. AP, Sensational Signatures Auto. Chase Brown, Green Auto. A really cool Kenneth Walker. The patch is really cool, but I think it's more of like a towel than anything. I don't think it's like a actual patch. Well, last but not least, we've got an Olave auto. We've got a Stroud Uh a Sean a Michaels auto, HBK to 25, Immaculate on card, a Zoe Stark one of one, Finest auto, so ending it with a couple one of, I'm sorry, non-auto, non-auto, I slipped a little auto in there, but this is an auto, ETN 21, Immaculate Collegiate Rookie uh, Platinum auto, one of one, so a couple one of ones to end it, so not nearly as much like high end as we might come to expect on this, but some fun stuff. Some low-numbered stuff, some unique stuff, and then some cheap slabs, some good local stuff. 
Uh, a lot of graded, like I said, a lot of graded this time. A couple cool wrestling at the end. But yeah, good mix. But obviously the pickups was not the uh, the main focus of the, the event. It was certainly making sure we could uh, have a cool experience for as many people as possible. So if you came, appreciate you guys coming. If you watch the vlogs, thank you for watching. Drop a comment on the, the vlog. Let us know what you think. Always looking for feedback. Always looking for different ways to improve those and level those up. So we'll, uh, we'll do this all again next year, hopefully. But for now, that is all I got. Peace, guys.